James White from the Liberty Brothers Radio Show, and I'm out here in front of my home um, looking at these chemtrails that were dropped, or the geoengineering, I suppose. Uh, and as you can see, these are not natural cloud formations here. These, uh, these are artificial. And uh, it's funny how they always seem to do that around here when it looks like it's gonna rain, um, which I think we're forecast for rain maybe today, later this afternoon. But uh, as you can see, We've got one going this way towards the, that would be towards the east, east to west. Uh, and then uh, another one that's kind of going east to west there. And then you can see the one crossing going uh, north to south. So it's not an exact quote unquote grid pattern. Um, but it certainly uh, is a, not a natural cloud formation. Um, and as you can see, the other cloud cover that's moving in here is just going to basically these big trucks aren't supposed to be on this road. These um, what's going to happen is these clouds are going to mold, merge together, uh, and these chemtrails are going to become part of these clouds. And uh, who knows what it's going to uh, what it's going to deposit here on the ground when it does rain. So uh, just give a little update here. I know Jason's really been covering the geoengineering stuff. And I wanted to uh, do my part, so uh, this is James White from the Liberty Bros Radio Show. Thank you so much. Hi, this is James White from the Liberty Brothers Radio Show. Uh, it's about my 10 minutes since I shot that last video on my iPhone. I went and got a better camera. Um, we're looking here to the south east. And as you can see, the, uh, the grid pattern that was here earlier, they've uh, it started now to uh, sort of come together. It's quite a ways away from where I'm at now. Uh, but this uh, one line here you see running, this big thick one, uh, it was back over my house a little while ago. So it uh, certainly has caught the prevailing winds and it seems like they're all going to be coming together down there as you can see the mountains there it's very hazy uh, I, I checked a little while ago for wildfires and I didn't really see any that I know of um, as of about a week ago because that's what it looks like when uh, when there's wildfires worse actually right here is uh, as you can see earlier is uh, the shot that we had earlier with the with the iPhone and uh, these clouds are certainly coming together so they're uh, Certainly no shortage of geoengineering going on here in the Flathead Valley of Montana. James White from the Liberty Brothers Radio Show. This is James White again from the Liberty Brothers Radio Show. It's been about 15 minutes since I shot this, uh, this uh, second video. And as you can see now, there's the tail of that one uh, long, thick uh, trail that was, uh, that was earlier much much here farther closer to the west so now it is of course everything is merged in together just about 100 percent merged uh, right here there's a little bit of that tail as you can see and uh looks like we have something else going on up here it just popped in there it is so we've got one going right there they're they're uh they're not done apparently and they're really concentrating it looks like they're laying down something so they, they're really concentrating on the southeast because that's what's going to happen to this one up here. I really don't want to put this camera right into the sun, uh, pretty close to it here. Right behind that, uh, going right behind that telephone pole. And it will continue, I'm sure, to lay down these, whatever they are. And uh, it will merge right in with that the other, the other cloud formation here, right there. There's, again, the end of it. And uh, this one will uh, will join right in. So uh, yeah, they're uh, <laughs> they've got something going on here. They want they want to do something here to the southeast, and um, that seems to be the uh, seems to be the area today that needs to have the most geoengineering. Again, this is James White from the Liberty Brothers Radio Show, and uh, we'll talk to you later. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country.